Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and you can see a uh, decent down day on Friday. Um, you can see that, you know, we're just kind of, it was, it was trying to shake itself out of the, the range that it established on Tuesday between 31.56 and 30.60. Low from Friday was 56.75. You saw some extension to the downside early last night, down to 27.25. Um, and then, you know, it picked up, it held the new weekly pivot there at 30.46, and then they've been just kind of walking them up ever since. Bumped into the nine day. Now they're dealing with the nine day and the daily middle band, the 20 day, 30.80 uh, 30 to 30.86. So that's going to be important. Um, and as we head, you know, as we head into the regular session, um, oh, the, the thing that seems to be moving the market um, negatively, and I've said before and I continue to maintain, the only way the bears take the market down is on a piece of news. And once there's enough sustainable news, then we're going to see some kind of a retrace, although we already really have. I mean, we've come back to the nine day, we've come back to the daily middle band, we've taken them out and we're retesting them underneath. But you can see here on the chart, you got a lot of stuff down here. You know that we were dealing with you know a week ago uh 50 day 200 day 100 day monthly pivot so really what the what the bulls are trying to do right now is establish some kind of a higher low versus some of this price down in the 2900s from last week and the week before the tape does not like the numbers the the covid numbers from florida texas arizona etc um, when the rumor got leaked Friday afternoon that Apple was closing stores in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, and Arizona, tape really didn't like that. So while this is not a, you know, fundamental anything, we, you know, we're technical traders and we trade the S&P. We do try to focus from a news standpoint and a geopolitical standpoint on what does the tape care about right now? Tape cares about that stuff. Okay cares about ramping COVID numbers in certain states, and it certainly cares about stuff that was open that is rumored to close right back up again. Uh, and if that kind of news flow continues, you're going to have these sustained negative, you know, blips in the market. Um, and then the question becomes, how resilient are the dip buyers if these things continue to happen? Do they come and grab it Sunday night after this? Or do they let it go for a couple of days, and then you get, you know, you get something more precipitous? Um, that remains to be seen, but you have to be aware of the dynamic um, as you go through your day, and that's, you know, that's what we'll be watching out for. So heading into the open, I think we're going to open open it right here on the daily mid band, right on the nine day. I think it's going to chop around here uh, for another hour and a half. Then we'll open the market hourly mid band, seventy six half. Uh, volume weighted average price 70 uh, our proprietary mid band is right there with the daily pivot 3085 3086 area so um, you've got a lot going on between uh, 76 and 86 so if there's a, if there's something to, if there's an area to battle over this morning it's a, it's certainly that with a potential deeper move to VWAP um, bulls would like nothing better than to establish some kind of a foothold in the first hour of the day and then go ahead and take out the Globex highs and try to wind it back toward 3140 from um, from Friday. Uh, what the Bears want to do is they want to seal it off here. They want to take out the weekly pivot and seal that and try to get back down towards round number 3000. Um, and door number three is we just kind of wait on the next piece of news and we chop around in what could potentially be a 30 or a 40 handle range, which would be some nice trading. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.